Imagine one little PC that replaces your game console, your retro machine, and your streaming box all in one. This is my Intel Nook, and today I turn it into the ultimate all in one entertainment system with Bazite. We're talking Steam, Xbox Cloud Gaming, Ammo Deck for Retro, and Cody with Jellyfin for my movies and TV shows. And yes, it can even run Switch games. In this video, I'll show you step by step how I install it, customize it, and we'll finish with some actual gameplay. Don't forget to drop a like right now and subscribe if you love tech builds like this one. So here's the little box that makes this possible. This is an Intel Nook. Inside we got an i5-8259U with Iris Plus 655 graphics, 32 gigs of RAM, and I have the OS installed on a 250 gigs NVMe SSD and the 2 terabyte SSD for game storage. Honestly, for its size, it's a beast. It's small, it's quiet, and perfect for turning into a living room console. The first step is grabbing Bazite itself. Head over to their official website and download the ISO. Then simply use Balena Etcher. It's free, simple, and works every time. Select the ISO, select your USB stick, hit flash, and in a few minutes, you're ready to go. Now plug that USB into your PC and press F10 on boot to open the boot menu. Select your USB stick and choose install Bazite. Now, because this Nuke used to run Windows, I wanted a complete clean drive. So here's the trick. If you press Ctrl, Shift and F2 key, this will bring up the terminal. Simply type LSBLK to see all the drives. That will show you all your drives that are in the PC. After I just type this command, don't worry, I will leave everything in a pinned comment or in the description. And after you inserted this command, that wipes the drive completely. After that, just restart, boot back into the installer and just click through, create your user, connect to your Wi-Fi, hit next a few times and in about 10 minutes, you got a fresh install of Bazite. First boot into Bazite feels amazing. It looks and acts just like SteamOS. And I enabled big picture mode right away so it launches directly into Steam. But I also wanted my media. So inside the bazaar, you'll find Kodi. And I install it. One click, add the Jellyfin plugin, connect it to my server. And just like that, I got my own Netflix style library on the big screen. And the best part, I can control everything with a cheap wireless remote. The controls on this remote are truly amazing. And even you can control it to your Easy SMX controller. And to exit, just go on the power and press exit. That will bring you back to the menu. Steam integration of Bazite is already excellent, but I wanted more control. That's where Deki Loader comes in. Deki lets you install themes to make your Steam library look unique, add plugins for system info, even custom launchers. It's basically the mode store for Steam, and it's what makes this setup feel polished and console-like instead of just plain PC. Now, let's load up the retro side. Emodec is the easiest way to handle this. Just download it, 
run the installer and it configures all the emulators automatically. It creates your folder structure, setup controllers, integrates with Steam, all of it. The first time feels a little overwhelming, but once it's installed, you drop your ROMs into the right folders and you're ready to relieve every generation of gaming. Time to put this build to the test. Let's start with Forza Horizon on Xbox Cloud Gaming. It is smooth, responsive and it feels like playing on a console. Now jumping to classics, Crash Bandicoot on PS1 runs perfectly. Moving forward, God of War 2 on PS2, one of my favorites, and this little nuke handles it like a champ. And finally, let's push it further. Here's Luigi Mansion 2 HD on Switch. Yes, running on this tiny PC. And check out the performance, totally playable, no big hiccups. And I'm controlling everything with my Easy SMX wireless controller. So here's the bottom line, this little Intel Nook running Bazite has turned into my all-in-one entertainment system. Steam, Xbox Cloud, Retro Emulation, Cody with Jellyfin and full customization with Deki Loader. It feels like I built my own hybrid console that can do everything. But now I have to ask, could we build something even better on Windows? That's exactly what I'll test next, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Drop a like if this inspired you and let me know in the comments what console or emulator you'd want to try on this setup. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.